Hey YouTube, Lazy Came for Life here, and oh shit, I'm at the right place at the right time. I'll let the cutscene go and I'll be quiet for now. Hands up. Any lower and you're gonna have to pay for it, pal. TK thanks you for your contribution. <laughs> Where is she? Your girlfriends in there. Have fun. <laughs> okay, guys, like I said, I'll be... <clears throat> well, that was a crazy cutscene. I'm just wondering where how he took my money. Dude, these dance scenes are amazing. Uh oh. What the fuck? What the fuck? Ow, what the hell? What a dick. What if I don't want one? Nice work, Frank. Once. Where's Rebecca? TK doesn't really appreciate all your interference, Frank. You really need to learn to mind your own business. You set cure up. Talk that idiot protester into doing your dirty work. What a slut. Too bad she couldn't just take our tape and leave it at that. Never look a gift horse in the mouth. You're letting her go. Right now. Hmm, I'm getting tired of hearing you talk, Frank. I always saw you more as the strong, silent type. The very, very silent type. Okay, guys, well, as I was saying, hello, um, this is, uh, <clears throat> Lazy Game of Life. Playing Dead Rising 2 off the record again. I got rudely interrupted by the cutscene because I didn't know it was going to start randomly like that. So let's go and fight the twins and kill them. Yeah, the Mega Man Blaster should make this a little bit easier than normal because the Mega Man Blaster is pretty much the best weapon in the game. I think I just got to take out one of them. I think that's the goal here. Get out of here. Get out of here, Crystal. I want to kill Amber, because she's a bitch. I don't like yellow. Yeah, what a slut, dude. Stop hitting me. Yep, okay, that was real easy. <laughs> oh, Crystal getting on her knees, being a little bitch. She was my other half. But you'll pay. You will never get out of here alive, Frank. We promise you that. All of us! Dude, this bitch is crazy. Like, oh, oh no. Please don't do this. I'll never be complete again. Never! No doubt! Ah! Ah! Oh! Little Romeo and Juliet action, huh? <laughs> Come on, Rebecca. We got a story to cover. You just gonna lay here all day? It's about time. You'd almost think you liked me being tied up. They were your source. Seriously. I know. I'm sorry. But they had the tape. It spoke for itself. Maybe this will make it up to you. I heard them talking earlier. TK's got another chopper coming in. He's getting out of the city. Now. We need to catch him. A chopper? We can't let that bastard get away. Not without an interview. That helicopter is landing on the roof of the hotel. 
I'll be there. Well, that was very easy. And there's the achievement, Save the Girl. But, as you can tell... Uh, where is it? Where is it? Do I not have it? Do I not have it? Where is it? I swear to God I have it. There it is. Save the girl yet again. Save Rebecca from TK. That is the S ending achievement, <clears throat> which I already did. So, the next thing will occur at 7 p.m. So beating the twins was very easy. Like they are not hard, especially since you have since I have the Mega Man Blaster. So it shouldn't be too hard. And what time is it? When do I have to be there by? Uh, Fortune City Hotel rooftop just TK's escape from the Fortune City Hotel rooftop. I have to stop him. Okay. Uh -huh. Frank, there's a tall guy walking around in a clown suit. He's yelling at the zombies in the platinum strip near the arena. Okay. Before we go do that, we gotta go do this mission. If anybody's actually played Dead Rising 1, the psychopath Adam, I believe is the name, is the clown from Dead Rising 1. His brother is actually in this game, and he is the one of the cr psychopaths. So, I'll just let you see that when it comes to it. Um, I'm going to go face him real quick. And we should be pretty good. But yeah, snow job is the thing. Honestly, it's probably, probably my favorite psychopath in this game. And I know if uh, Dan from DFM 1996 or Cocaine DFM 1996 is watching, he'll be kind of interested in this fight scene because, you know, I guess his favorite fight from Dead Rising 1 was uh, uh, facing Adam. But my favorite, uh, well, well, no. The only reason I know that is I just went back to go watch his Dead Rising 1 Let's Play. Which, if you're looking for a good Dead Rising 1 Let's Play, I would recommend going to watch it. It's like, it's really cool. And he's really good at his Let's Plays, especially now. Like, his first two are a little off since it was, like, his first two episodes ever. Didn't have his mic plugged in at all. So, if you get past those first two episodes, the rest of the series is pretty good. I'll leave a link in the description, or actually, I'll leave an annotation on the screen um, to, uh, to the first video, so you can watch them all. And I'll also put his channel in the description, so you have, so you can go check him out. Give him a sub, give him a like. You know, be really appreciative from him and from me, because you know he's a good friend of mine. And me and I work with his brother a lot, Mike, which is his twin brother, by the way. So yeah. So we're almost there, I believe. So it shouldn't be too much longer till we fight. His brother. I don't even know his name. I don't even. I like. I know it's Adam, but I don't know the little brother, little dude's name. I never actually beat him. I've only seen a, a video on YouTube on it. Cause I want to know when I would exactly find him. But here we go. I mean, yeah. I don't. Is it not here or is it later? I don't know if it's over here. Or not. I feel like it is, but I could be completely wrong. God damn it, get off me. Or is that on the silver? Is it on the silver strip? Because I think this is the... Pl uh, no, I think this is the silver strip. I think it might be on the platinum strip. Oh, no, it is down here. Okay. And there's the clown mobile, as you can see. Here we go. We'll actually go start this cutscene right now. Meet Adam's little brother. This guy creeps me the fuck out, I'm not gonna lie. Frank's just like, whatever, I don't care, I don't wanna fight this guy. 
flavor would you like, young man? Because <laughs> I've got more flavors back in the car. I don't think you're gonna sell a lot of ice cream right now. And I am not getting in your car. Uh, wait. Frank West. Frank West? No, oh, I've heard of you. Oh, this never goes well. Maybe you've heard of my late brother. Used to work at the Willamette Mall. See, there were witnesses who said he was fighting someone. Someone with a camera. If Adam was your brother, I'd hate to meet your sister. <laughs> what a dick. How about a little ice cream, Frank? So now it's time just to beat the shit out of his, uh, Adam's little brother. I don't... Evan. Evan's his name. Come on, move. Get the fuck out of here. Ow, cocksucker. Don't, sh don't kick me with your pegs, cocksucker. Damn. I wish Mike would have seen... I wish Mike could have experienced this with me. But, oh well. Couldn't experience Adam. Shit, better go fucking eat something before I die. <laughs> Remember, kids, if you're playing this game, stock up on the food. So he's not as easy as I thought he would be. Oh shit, oh shit, move, move break, move! Not really, man. Get work. Dude. Is it just me or is he getting smaller? But his legs are getting taller or bigger. What the f- Okay. Uh, whoa. I didn't even kill him. Now he's just off his pegs. Okay. His pegs did get smaller. What the fuck? That's just a little bit disgusting, not gonna lie. Oh, and that face, though. That face. Okay, it just... Him just being that small just kind of worries me. Especially since, like, his legs were so big on the pegs. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, what the hell? It's good! <laughs> what a dick. I'm gonna Mega Man blast you to death. Okay, that's it. I'm just gonna pull out the other Mega Man busters I have. Get off of me. Fucking cocksucker, die. Turn up the sound for the cutscene. Okay, Frank, that was kind of, uh, that was, that was crazy, man. Not gonna lie to you. 
But there it is, guys. Um, oh, yeah, after you beat him, you get this little snowball cannon. Which is kind of cool. It's kind of a cool weapon. But other than the, Oh, yeah, and then ice cream. Ice cream's around there, too. But other than that, guys, I think we accomplished pretty much a lot for this episode. In the next episode, we'll do the getaway, K61. Um, but until next time, guys, I want you to hit that subscribe button. And I want you to also hit that next button or the previous episode buttons at the end of the video. Or even check out the other the previous Let's Play on the previous Let's Play button. So, also, I want you guys to do me that huge favor. Go over to Cocaine and Dan and go over to Cocaine and DFM 1996. The channel description will be in the description. The channel link will be in the description. Go over there, give them a sub, check out their Let's Plays. Their latest one is a Mario Party versus between Kane and Dan. So, but until then, guys, I want, I hope you guys had a great time watching this, me beating Evan, the little clown from hell, and Adam's brother. And us beating the twins in a very easy fashion with the Mega Man Buster. So this game's going to be pretty much easy to walk through now. So I'll see you guys next time here on Screwless Official. Remember to hit that subscribe button, and yeah, later. He broke his neck! <laughs> That guy's dead. Did you hear that? Yeah, I hear zombies. Just go open the fucking thing real quick before you die. I'm not gonna die. <laughs> <laughs>